welcome dear students welcome to upsc guide in this video we are going to discuss about one particular course you can call this course as rapid revision course rapid revision program or rapid revision course you can you can call this uh, course as crash course that means our target is that precisely how we need to read how we need to cover for preliminary examination this rapid revision or crash course or like you can call even it as a preliminary based course preliminary based question course because of the reason lots of students were making some request uh, sir we we want precisely about the prelims we want precisely about this particular subject only for preliminary standards so on that request now we came forward to make this particular course precisely for preliminary examination and uh, many of uh, our students are aware of uh, my teaching I, i used to teach history subject history subject all the modules of history subject but in this course we'll discuss history subject precisely for preliminary based precisely for preliminary based that means our target is to cover history subject on the basis of preliminary orientation preliminary orientation and coming to this complete module of history precisely for prelims we are going to cover below 20 hours or equivalent to the 20 hours within 20 hours our target is to complete complete history module for preliminary based for preliminary based that means our discussion will be completely on the basis of crisp things it's not a convictional things it was not a convictional uh, discussions that's the reason we will not go for a broader explanation of every topic and every thing we strictly strike will strictly strike the those areas which were important for prelims you may get a question sir how you are going to say that these topics were precisely for preliminary examination means two things are important to understand that particular question one is syllabus and the other one is previous years question papers these are the tools which will be used for making this course precisely for prelims okay and you know lots of students whenever we suggest for number of students to go through the syllabus or previous years question papers they'll feel very difficult without knowing syllabus they'll try to learn something that's the reason they'll miss they'll miss what to read and what not to read so in this course we are going to help you we are going to help you precisely how we are going to approach all these backgrounds all these backgrounds that is the motive of this particular course so in this course we'll cover we'll cover ancient medieval modern art and culture this is your syllabus of preliminary examination there is world history and post independence india that precisely useful for mains examination world history and post independence india is not part of preliminary examination preliminary examination so we'll cover in this session ancient medieval modern and art and culture what is the timeline will take around 20 hours within 20 hours our target is to complete all these four modules that's the reason i'm time and again saying the same point we'll cover the crisp areas crisp areas right and uh, as i said you many times in number of our sessions uh, uh, whenever we used to have discussion whenever you we used to have motivational sessions when we used to have doubt clarification sessions and when you whenever we used to have the general classes every time every time i suggested to go through the book list whichever uh, we used to prefer uh, for reading the first coming to ancient india 
coming to ancient India, the most preferable book, NCRT, the two old NCRT. And whenever I used to prescribe the NCRTs, again there will be a lot of questions revolves around the mindsets of people asking that, sir, either to go for new NCRT or old NCRT. That's the reason directly I'm writing old NCRT. And again there will be another question, sir, is, is there is a necessity to go from 6th class to 12th class? That's up to you. I'll not say yes, I'll not say no. I'll not say to follow or I'll not say simply deny. Okay, if you are interested to go from 6th class, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, it's up to you. I am not denying. But the books, whichever I am going to prescribe now, those books were like a compulsion. It's like a compulsion. There is no scope or no question to be raised against the reading of that particular book. Blindly you need to read it. Compulsion, it's a compulsion, right? So, ancient India, old NCRT, 11th class NCRT. Basically, group of scholars used to write NCRTs, but we are familiar to call the author, that is R. S. Sharma. R. S. Sharma, old NCRT, 11th class, right? And secondly, Medieval, Medieval India and even this is also old NCRT and class 11th and popular person we are familiar to call Satish Chandra, Satish Chandra and thirdly modern India, modern India this is also old NCRT and this is 12th standard and the popular person we used to call that is Bipin Chandra. Bipin Chandra. And fourth one, art and culture. Art and culture, class 11th. Art and culture actually an introduction to art and craft. That is the book name. An introduction to art and craft part 1. Part 1. An introduction to art and craft part 1, 11th class, old NCRT by Romila Tapar ma'am. These are the books you need to prefer. If you are very much interested to crack this examination, these will provide you the fundamental information. Without fundamental information, it will be very difficult for you. So please go through these books, which will help you a lot. Those who have done the practice of these things, they will be very comfortable in reading of history subject. Very comfortable. And many of our students are well experienced of these things also. Because number of times whenever we used to have different sessions, in that different sessions I, I specifically, empathetically used to make stress on these particular books. Right? So, this is the course and in shortly you will get all the details in our portal. You can go to our portal www.upscguide.in you can go to this portal and you'll get complete details of this particular subject course that that what i used to said you a rapid revision course you can call like that you can call it as a, a crash course or you can call it as a specifically for preliminary orientation right every detail will be available in this portal you can go through it and you'll be getting the date of the course launching right that's it that's about simply to give an overview i i just came in front of cam and i am just giving the details of this particular uh, plan of the course okay thank you that's about this course thank you